Hey guys, it's been a while. I have been a little preoccupied. We just had our second kid, so it's been a little crazy. I've been busy taking care of a new little guy, but I am going to try and make a video here because I got sent some free stuff by NF Strike. They sent me a few things. I'll go over them. Mostly it's going to be talking, maybe a little demoing after a bit. I got the Malion Sling Fire Barrel, which looks really good. Once I get this, this Sling Fire all figured out, this is one of my pet projects. I've been working on upgrading it for a long time. Many things. Right now, I put in the Worker Stefan kit. I had to cut the barrel down because I accidentally bought the wrong one for the expanded plunger and I I think it's possible to put an expanded plunger in here. I haven't done it yet. Maybe I never will. And so the top loading isn't working right now because it only takes half darts and that was like the key feature of this was top loading. But as for the actual part, it looks really good. It's a little square so they didn't print it with a super precise circle but that's okay. I need to paint it to match the gunmetal rusted weathered look on here. It's like what I had but so much better. It feels really good in the hand. It's awesome. This is great. It feels good. It's about the same size internally as the faux barrel that you get so you know there should be a little barrel drag but probably nothing too severe really. Then I got the 14 kilogram spring and put it in this Exus that was made by Josh Church which is uh I think Valor, Lionheart, Valor, Mods, Valor, something. I'll link to it. I'll probably cut that out. Uh, so he did this. He did the paint on this Exus and some of the internals. Right now, and this is unfortunate, I can't actually get it to catch because the spring weight, the 14 kilograms, I think is warping the bolt sled just enough that it won't catch easily. Um, with the lazy breach ah can't get it with the lazy breach i got uh anywhere between 150 and 200 fps with that spring so that's pretty good not bad at all um i i this is my first like attempt at a lazy breach so or brass breach really in any way so that may be a part of it maybe we should get more than that uh it's a pretty heavy spring but I have the Titan 14 kilogram too. This is about the same draw. It doesn't feel any harder really, but I found it a little easier to prime. And I didn't notice that I, if I was getting any less performance based on this, went before I had the lazy breach and I was getting 100 FPS with either spring. So they're probably on par. The Titan spring from Monkey Mods was $8, I think, $7.50, something like that. This one was like three so and then finally the claymore there have been a lot of reviews on it it does not disappoint it's fun it's cool it offers a unique function to use it you fill it and you can see the rival rounds in there and i like rival rounds they have a nice weight this always ejects things at the same power so the weight of the object kind of helps hit detection for players for tagging calling hits which is always good to me because I like I help run games and I like when things work smoother and better so I'm kind of a fan this arm has already weakened to the point that it will not hold itself up the same way it did at, when I first unboxed it so it will kind of tend to sink down that was talked about you can use the trip wire, which is cool. So to use it, you fill it, and you push this down and lock it. And then you pull this out, the safety, and then this little hook tab thing launches. And that's about it. It has a clicker, a remote, that you turn on inside, and that actuates that. So you can do it remote or with trip wire. I like the tripwire, but it's kind of a tangled mess, so I have to test that. I want to war test this sometime. We'll see. It's really fun, though. A little light goes on. I found, so the thing that I will talk about with this that's really kind of 
a conundrum is I'm not sure the best way to carry it in my gear. I have a large utility pouch, it's Velcro, on the back of my rig, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But it took my, my loadout from a medium to a heavy, and I had to have this extra pouch as well which has the ammo that I can use in it. It can shoot anything. That'll go on the left side. This is gonna go on the back. If you are interested in something like this, I can't recommend it enough. This is amazing. It is so cool. It's a unique function. It's fun. If you're thinking about, I, I'd recommend any of these. And so far, I haven't had a problem with NF Strike as a reseller. I've gotten the things pretty quickly for China shipping. They all are in good condition. They're nice products. It's live. There's a line. We're gonna see how much tension it takes to trigger. Hopefully it won't just explode when I remove. Okay. Well, first test done. Ellie! Don't actually do it, Ellie. Those are gone. <laughs> Hey, hey. Alright, Ellie, get out of here. Get out of here, it's live. Go that way. Alright, Ellie, turn away. Did I get you? Ellie, Ellie, go to the house. Walk into the line. Ellie, I need you to walk into the fishing line. Go! Go! That's all the wrong direction, Ellie. Did you not want to help me test it? Get into it. You went right behind it. Come here, Alice! Ellie! Come on over! <laughs> You're too smart for it, aren't you, Ellie? Come here! Come here, Ellie. Oh. Come here. Ellie, come here. Ellie? Hey, Ellie. Whoa! Come here. I got it. Ellie, take it. Take it. Ellie, take it. Come on, take it. Take it. Okay, now detonate the bomb. Take No. Come on. That's not how you do it. You squeeze it. Squeeze it. Come on. You gotta squeeze it. Squeeze it. That is not how you squeeze it. I know you know how to do this. Ellie. Come on. Whoa. Well, this, this cloud's tight. 